Alright guys, what's going on? I know I've been slacking on the videos, even though I have like 3 subscribers, but still. I know I've been slacking on the videos, I've had a lot of stuff going on. been working all summer long, so making money the best I can. So, sorry about these videos being a little sporadic, but that was not going to do. So today, we're going over how to camouflage your whatever you want. I'm going to do a magazine, because... I have an Amend 2 mag here, made in the USA, I paid 10 bucks for it. Tell you what, these are some of the best mags you'll ever buy, and they're the cheapest mag you'll ever buy. So if you ever need mags, and you need a lot of them, Amend 2 mags. Now this light's like right in the way, isn't it? One. Is that better? I think that's better. So, I have an engine behind me. So. We're going to be doing a uh, paint on, or a uh, camo job on this, and it's a little wet. Pretty wet still, but I'm too lazy to wait, so we're just going to paint it. So, set that over. So, so what I'm going to use is this. I already, sp Fuck. I already spray painted it tan, so we have brown and green here. These are just cheapo workday industrial spray paint. I pay like three bucks for it at my local hardware store and uh, green brown and primers back here so one thing I do like about the MN2 mags is that they're rough enough like when you get them they have a nice texture so you can paint them right out you don't have to sit there and freaking sandpaper your mags which is retarded I hate doing that and what I'm going to be using is a broken ammo holder so like when you buy a box of 40 bullets here box I had I thought I had the other half sitting over there but I don't um, when you buy, buy a box of bullets, like 40, 45, you get them in a little 50 tray like this. You take that tray, and you don't have to break it in half. I didn't really mean to break it in half, but when it's broken in half, you works pretty damn well for doing camo jobs. And one nice thing about having a uh, bench that I've already spray painted probably 30 times, you can just paint on it and see if you like how it looks. So that's what I did. So, I'm going to try and stay in frame here. So, basically, you want to take your mag. As you can see, it is tan. Make sure you put tape or something to cover up from about that first lug up. Or else it won't work. It'll stick in your gun and it just it won't be good. So, take your magazine. Take your ammo thing. And I'm about to change this around a little bit. So just set it right those on your gun. Set it like that on your magazine or firearm or whatever you plan to spray paint. And you move your camera a little bit better. So you take your, I'm going to do brown first because I think brown looks nice on this. And you just go, so like that. Boom. One side's done. I wish I had gotten here. And if you don't like it, the nice thing about using spray paint is move a little bit, get a little more. There you go. Now, since it's so small, I'm only going to do one color on each side. So now I'm going to flip it over and do green on this side. I wish I had a darker green. This green's not the best. Actually, I do have a good darker green. I'll be right back. I have the same rest can with a lid or a sprayer. So this one's getting put on the shelf until I need it again. So, I'm going to use a darker green because I think a darker green would look better than the lighter green. What? Oh, that goes, okay. Fuck. So, that's what we're going to use. Um, I think it's darker. Yeah, it's a bit darker. This stuff takes way longer to dry than the cheap stuff. Just so you peoples know. I'm gonna orientate it differently. Look like that. You guys can't see this. So I'm just gonna orientate it differently. So the other way it was going the other way. Yeah. Basically, it's simple. 
and you're just gonna go yeah that looks neat mm -hmm. and there you go so I got green on this side fuck you spray paint god damn it I just messed that shot way up So I got brown on that side, green on that side, and I think it turned out pretty neat. So now, you play a game of hurry up and wait. I'm gonna get you guys back in the good light. Now you play a game of hurry up and wait. So you just take this time, clean up your area. If you wanna save the thing you used to spray paint, you know, spray paint something else, do that now, you know. This I think I actually am gonna keep. Just throw it back there somewhere. Tape you used to tape it off. Put that over there. To, you know where else it would go. And then once it's done drying, get yourself a sweet AR mag that nobody else has because you did it yourself. So I think it turned out pretty neat. I'm actually pretty happy with it. So thank you. Very very short video, but it's. Just probably six something long so thank you please like comment subscribe all that fun stuff come at you with another video hopefully sometime this week